Good morning, everybody. How are you today? This is Miss Lena from Miss Lena's Kitchen. And I'm getting ready to show you guys some things that's going to be ready for uh, New Year's Day weekend. Uh, whatever you wanted to start with. If you wanted for New Year's Eve or New Year's Day. Okay, I will first go with my scripture. Uh, Psalms 143, chapter 8. Chapter 8, verse... I mean, I'm, chap, uh, chapter 143, verse 8. Uh, the morning prayer. Cause me to hear thy loving kindness in the morning for in thee do I trust cause <clears throat> causes me to know the way wherein I should walk for I lift up my soul unto thee thank you this is from Psalms 143 verse 8 thank you now I'm getting ready to make um, a croissant <clears throat> okay and this is going to be made out of the, uh, this, uh, the filling she put in the croissants is made with turkey, ground meat, uh, cream cheese, uh, cheddar cheese, and marinara sauce. Okay. So those are what, that's what I'm using. So, all right, I'm spooning, I'm going to spoon it in halfway. The one, most of this is, this, I'm going to show you on the last one how it was made, how they were made together. Okay. You put it in just about halfway. Okay. Okay. All right. Now I bring the bottom from, bring the bottom up all the way. I pick this one up in my hand. And then I will fold it over. I pick it up. I'll fold it over again and again to make the wrap. And then I will take the ends and I will cover them up. All right. So now that you see, this is the way that it's made. All right. All right. So then I <clears throat> you put them in the in the oven for about uh. Until they turn golden brown. Okay, turn them open brown for about maybe 10 minutes. All right, the next this is spinach and artichoke. And I'm going to, and this is also <clears throat> cream cheese that already have been um, mashed up. There's cream cheese, sour cream, and Parmesan cheese. Okay, and I'm getting ready to put a little onion powder in it right now. Powder. Okay, that's enough, so... Now I will be pouring in the a spinach and the an and a chip. I got a can of this Share. Okay. And I'm gonna stir this up. And that's eight ounces of cream cheese and a cup of sour cream and a couple of tablespoons of Parmesan cheese. I've got this all whipped up, so I'm sitting right down. So we put another about a pinch of salt in here in it also. A tablespoon of green onions, okay. So I'm gonna pull this in also. Okay, y'all. The next thing to get put in the pan and, and go in the oven. We'll be back with the next uh, dish. Okay, I'm doing these uh, turkey and meatballs. or marinating them in the in the marinated sauce. And then when I finish with them, every all the meats that I'm using is being, as turkey meat today. Okay. But y'all can use any kind of meat you want. We are just doing that because. Some of us don't eat beef or pork. When she get through, she's gonna put the Parmesan cheese on top of it. 
Okay, now I'm going to put the Parmesan cheese on it. Okay, y'all. That's the end of that. Now we're on to the next uh, recipe. Okay, y'all. She's just doing, she's doing uh, lemon pepper wing, orange pepper wings, uh, honey barbecue, and hot, hot wing. So she don't have to put any uh, flour or anything on. She's just going to put them in the deep fryer. And when they come out, they go in the, the, sauce. the, bowl, the bowl of the sauce. And we'll be back. Uh, we, I'm going to get ready now. I'm going to do pinwheels. And we have the, uh, the mixture in here for the uh, tortilla. It's it's made out of cranberries and Miracle Whip. And mashed up cranberry sauce. Okay. So I'm going to be spreading it out on the tortilla. This is the uh, turkey deli uh, thin slice of the of turkey uh, breast, white turkey breast. And she put the uh, cranberry mayonnaise on the whole uh, shell. Okay, y'all. Now we have a white, okay. All right, so it's six pieces. Yeah, she put about six pieces on there. But you can put as much on there you want. She has six pieces of meat, y'all. Now she's going to put her lettuce on. Okay. All right. Now. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You can put tomatoes on there, cheese. Whatever you want. One time I did these things with boiled eggs. Yeah. A long time ago. Boiled eggs. Yeah. They're good with boiled eggs also if you don't want uh, any kind of meat on them. Okay. Okay, now I've got the pinwheel rolled down, rolled up. So now I'll be cutting. I'll be cutting and cutting them off. Maybe I need to cut them a little larger. You can make them whatever size you'd like. If you want them smaller, you can. So I have about a version of three different sizes right now, so. And I say, you can put cheese or whatever you want. This is just what we was putting in today. So these are the pinwheels. Let's have the pinwheels look, y'all. Okay, so I'm gonna make the uh, grape jelly with the uh, smoky sausage on it. And you, with the, you have a little bit of the green onion tops on with it. I'm gonna put this in the skillet. It'll probably take all of it that I have left. It's not that much anything here. So. Yeah, yeah, I can cook it on the stove or you can cook it in the oven. 
We ain't even cooking in the crock pot. <coughs> so since we're doing a lot of different uh, recipes for um, showing people different types of stuff for New Year's Eve uh, get togethers. So we're going to do it in the skillet. And that's basically all you do. Just the grape jelly and let it cook down. And we'll be back when she's on the next, um, her next, uh, and all these recipes she's showing you today are very quick, fast, and simple. So now I'm getting ready to do, uh, I have, uh, chicken and also barbecue chicken breast and, and uh, barbecue roast that we had left from uh, Christmas day. We're making the little sandwiches out of them. She's making sliders and y'all, she put a smoke sauce, smoke flavor in the, in the roast in the chicken and barbecue sauce. Ready to do that, huh? the barbecue chicken. Yeah, she took two chicken breasts and uh, seasoned them with her normal seasoning. And she put some smoked sauce and barbecue sauce in them. She kind of shredded them down. All right, we have bell beater cheese in here, and uh, rotel, and cre and uh, sour cream, and green onions, and green onions, and I'm gonna put it on and let it start to melt on the stove. Yeah, this is queso. Okay, I'm headed to the stove with it now. I'm getting ready to make a salmon bowls now. This is a can of salmon, uh, and I'm putting have put the cracker crumbs in it, and also one egg, and as I get it mixed up. I'm gonna add just a little bit of garlic powder and onion powder and obey, so. All right, I'm gonna put a little bit of obey in it. Okay. A little garlic powder. Okay. A little onion powder. Comes out faster than the other, so hmm. I'm get this mixed together real good with the egg down in it. Then I'll be putting a uh, shredded cheese inside, and then I'll be ready to make my balls. I'm gonna have to put them in the deep fryer today. All right. Now I'm ready to make my the salmon balls. I'm just gonna get a handful and just kind of ball them up. Okay, this is my New Year's Eve security board. All right, so I'm getting ready. I'm putting, I'm gonna show you how to fix it as I go. 
So now, this is my beef sandwiches that are going on this end. And I'm going to be putting some on the other end as well. All right, now. All right, so. Now, I have those up there. So she put the barbecue slider, chicken sliders down there in the, in the beef over there. Then she has the uh, the turkey uh, croissants, stuffed croissants, ground turkey stuffed croissants over there. Then she has the uh, spinach and artichoke dip down here. Okay, I'm going to put uh, another piece of the pineapple right there. Okay. Now, the strawberries. Oh, yeah, I got strawberries. Okay. And I put some more. Uh, okay. Now, Let me see what sticks. All right. All right. These are my salmon bowl, bowls. And I'm going to be putting them just right in here. I'm going to put about six of them there. Okay. And then I'm going to put. I'm gonna put about six of the meatballs over here. Maybe more, cause the meatballs are very uh, smaller than the salmon bowl. I'll be able to get more here than I would over there. Okay. That's what she has so for you. All right, now, my chicken wings. Go. Now this is the one with the lemon pepper. And I'm gonna put them right on this edge. These are the lemon pepper wings. Okay, now on this other side, I'll be putting the orange chicken out right I'm going to be laying the crackers right next to the pepperoni. You put a few more there so I can fill that in. Okay. In this case, or in chips, y'all. It's okay. All right. 
These are the orange pepper wings. They're gonna go right here. And she put orange pepper in some butter. Okay. All right, now. This is the little, uh, this is the small uh, sausage right there. So the hot wings will go right here on this end. Okay, now I'm getting ready to do the uh, sauce. Uh, the New Year's Eve security board. All right, so we have a big old supply for anybody that's going to be getting ready for a New Year's Eve party. This should do it. Okay, now to start with, we have what size? Let me see what size. There's so much, I don't know which side I want to store it on. Okay, uh, these are the little, let's start on this side. Okay. All right. At the this is a uh, a dip, spinach and artichoke. Okay. Dip. Dip. Okay. Then we have the chips. Right. This are uh, my artichokes with the mixed with the spinach. This is a dip. Okay. This is my uh, ranch dressing. These are Italian meatballs, and this and down down there is my uh, chicken uh, sl slides, and then they have a uh, these are cucumbers. Then these are pinwheels. And these right here are my chips. These are hot wings. These are barbecue wings. And these are dips, uh, sausage. Uh, the, and there with the grape jelly. And those, that's a good thing. And then these down here, <coughs> excuse me. These down here are the lemon pepper wings. Okay. And then, then we have the, water, the watermelon slices. And we have uh, pineapple slices, and also have uh, strawberries. There's more pineapples and more watermelon. And over here, down here, these are sal salmon balls made out of canned salmon. Okay, and then you have the chips. And so dip for the cheese. Then she have uh, uh, more cucumber. Then she have the uh, stuffed croissants with the ground tur with the ground turkey and marinara sauce then she have the lemon pepper chicken then she have a uh, pepperoni and crackers and then on the end she has beef sliders and this is her new year's eve security board she did it in case anybody needed ideas about they having a new, a new year's party and wanted ideas of course you can make more food or, or get uh, more boards but we just did it on the two huge boards and so now we thank you but this is quite a bit and this make as much as you want but this is just an idea to let you go ahead on and know that these are different things that you can make uh in a short length of time if you just have to go to the grocery store then you can i uh, figure out things that you would like to have okay and then like in the pinwheels she only put the lunch meat and lettuce on the tati on the tartis and uh <clears throat> I don't have a cold, but anyway, I've been out in a lot of the wind today, so it's a little windy. So I hope you can understand what I'm saying. So I, I'm i getting ready to close down now. So I hope you all have a very happy New Year's Eve with all of this uh, security board. Charcuterie. And this is a, her security. New Year's Eve charcuterie board. Anybody want to have a party, you can do a New Year's Day, either one. It's very easy to make and stuff, and it, it was fast. It was kind of slow because we was taping. And we wouldn't tape it. We'd be, we've been through a long time ago. But this is everything, y'all. And I hope you all enjoy it. Or enjoy taking your time to fix it. Okay, so I should thank you all for watching. And I hope you all will take some of the ideas at hand for New Year's Eve. And I thank you so much with all my love. And I thank you all my new subscribers, the old ones and my regular subscribers, and the ones that will be viewing this. You know, take your time. This is a very good idea for you to have a nice New Year's Eve party or New Year's Day party for your football team or whatever. 
It would be nice for anything that you would like to have for this whole entire weekend. And we thank you for watching and viewing. Goodbye from Miss Lena's Kitchen with all my love. Bye-bye. And if we don't see you this again this year, we'll see you next year, 2023.